Hello guys, me Car Santos and Cap Corona 5 and I haven't done a um, game review for a while for Tony Stewart All American Racing, so let's begin. So, last time I was gonna say I was gonna do a uh, season 6 video clip of Tony Stewart, but the video files got corrupted, so I couldn't upload the recording I did. It was going to be about how it was in the top 20 in the standings, but I think I mixed up the season, so the first one I think that I kind of get uploaded to YouTube was season 6, so and then as the title says, I'm shifting gears to season 7, so season 6 and season 7 is going to get all mixed up, so as far as, oh, I did some hot seats on that, on these races, and then I did some on my own, off camera, so. Basically, I just stuck here. Drivers are coming to the line. Here we go. The green flag is in! Oh, my God.
qualifying, the race is over. The official results are now being posted. So here we are in Madison Lake, so all I can say is it's one of my best race tracks because it's a quarter of a mile, all you have to do is just turn left, but at the same time, five tracks, well, it's kind of like Martinsville, but you have to be really patient with the throttle, to be honest, with you guys. I'm quite sure one of my weaknesses in the NASCAR Heat 5 I played a couple of months ago were the road courses, you know, and, and why I say that is because physics in the game are kind of inaccurate, and, and how can I correlate this to the Tony Stewart game? The, Stewart, the street stock vehicles are really easy to drive, to be honest, because from the carburetor on and off throttle tracing and you can basically maneuver it in an easy motion you know like where is this corner going to be at when I enter and exit the corner in my head so that's how I look at it so ooh how many cautions am I trying to Hold. <laughs> That's like two constants already. <laughs> Must not be a, a great driver to do that. And I admit, I would be a dirty driver if I kept doing that. But, I mean, it's all on you, it's just a video game. That's all. 
And yeah, this is the ending, I believe. And got a few laps to go. So, ooh, getting the bump with the purple car. And why do I say that I had a top 10 run? This is the reasons why. Yeah, just had a good piece on your hand. Yeah, once by the time, I can try you, um, catching those slow cars, and that's what it takes, you know, to be in the top 10 points, you have to catch cars at the right place at the right time, you know? even if you're in the lead, you still have to do that, you know, yeah. Just battling for that 8th place spot right now in this video clip. Mm -hmm. One to go, one to go. So, um, how many laps I have? And I'm gonna get 8th place. Nice job from my race team and from me, myself. Good. All I can say is, where am I in this thing? It's 12. So I'm halfway, no, I'm not halfway there, but a few more races, I'll get that 10th place spot where I can give my speech to the dirt race fans and say, hey, I gave you my all this season. I did a few hot seats here and there, and then at races that I, Attempted. I mean, I was resilient. Even the car setups that I put in there, you know. I mean, there were some good and bad races, but that's, that's all I can say. So, so that's the end of my video clip for my top ten run at Madison Lake. So, I make a happy car on night five. Y'all have a Good day and peace out. Hey, we've all noticed you've been doing a great job recently. Nice job. Keep it up.